Now, let me just eliminate some myths out there. I had a family come up to me uh, not long ago, and they were, I don't know, they, they were well healed. Okay, they had a lot of money, this family. And there's a lot of this family was sort of struggling. You know, you think people with a lot of money don't struggle. But people with a lot of money struggle. They actually have more stuff to struggle about. Amen? More money, more problems. And so they have more problems. And one of the things was, you know, they were trying to grasp this whole, you know, male headship thing. And the wife was just, she's about to pull her hair out. And I'm going, well, well what's the issue here? And she goes, he's terrible with money. It's okay. All right, he's, he's, he's terrible with money. So tell me how that's, you know, just affecting what's going on with you. He, he just, he, he, he won't, he just, he can't balance a checkbook. He can't keep up with the finances. He can't this or that and the other. And I'm thinking, this dude sounds like me. I'm just not at all the accounting type. And I sort of said that. And she said, well, see, well, how do you do it? I said, well, I just, you know, got to realize that I can't do that. I get somebody else to do that. And she goes, but see, that's the problem. He's the head. And it makes it even more difficult because I have a finance degree. And I'm watching him just do this crazy stuff. I'm going, okay, you got a finance degree. She goes, yes. You're good with the money and the books and writing checks and that kind of stuff. Yes. He's bad with that. Yes. But you let him do it. Yes. I said, why? She goes, well, because he's the head. Who told you that being the head meant your wife can't oversee the checkbook? Her eyes got as big as saucers. She goes, you mean I can handle the checkbook? I said, listen to me. Do you think Bill Gates oversees the day-to-day operations of Microsoft? Of course he doesn't. He's too busy being the head of Microsoft to oversee the mundane day-to-day stuff. He does what he's good at. And as the head, he puts other people in positions to help him be successful. It would be perfectly within the confines of your husband's headship to put you over the checkbook. It just freed him up. Now we laugh at that, but how many of us have crazy stuff like that in our homes? Because we never saw male headship before. So we have no idea what it's supposed to look like. So we begin to look like patriarchy on steroids, you know. And all of a sudden, we're burdening ourselves down. We're burdening our wives down because we've defined male headship as something that the scriptures don't teach. 